This song is very relatable. Why? Because I'm a dirty black boy. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. All right, today we're checking out Foreigner. We listen to the song Dirty White Boy. Let's get into it. This song is very relatable. Why? Because I'm a dirty black boy. Oh, oh, okay. It's true. It's a vibe. It's the vibe of if someone takes me home to meet their parents, are they going to approve of me? And nothing to do with race. But it's like coming home to meet your parents is like, there's a little something there. Like, it's why are you question. dating him? You it's know what I mean? It's not just like you're, it's not just like, you know, you've got everything just completely. Like, exactly. Like being from a single mom household and all this stuff. Like, why are you dating him? It was like that vibe with one of your sides of your family. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. like, I get, I understand the vibe. Okay. You get what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. It's like if somebody's daughter brings him home. Okay. They might be like, oh, what are you seeing him? Are you sure you really like him? Why do you want to date him? He kind of dirty. He getting in trouble and all this kind of right. stuff. But if it was like some prim and proper guy, then they'd be like, oh, yeah, you have great taste. Oh, right. welcome to the family. Marry him now. It's like, yeah, on the scale of, oh, welcome to the family. Oh, my daughter has great taste. And the scale of, why'd you bring him home? So I've always been closer to the, why'd you bring him home oh. side of the scale. Oh. I'm just saying, just being honest. I was getting in trouble stuff growing up. I had cornrows. I was dusty. Okay. Yeah, I'm just. It's relatable to my childhood, What's my that young adult to the danger zone experience. Every night. Yes, I was never like the suit Been and tie boyfriend. Yeah, definitely not. And I didn't look like I came from a well-to-do family, so I was like, I can relate to this. Okay. Dirty black boys and dirty white boys united. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
What do you think? I I mean, it seems like it's uh, the male prerogative to constantly get in trouble and wreak havoc. You know? Yeah, so somewhat. It seems like that is the natural, enjoyable direction of the male. You know? I mean, a lot of us do get in trouble, but not everyone. But they might just be, like, in the group and, like, just they're not the one that gets in trouble. But right. the friend gets in trouble. Or even just, like, filming while someone else is getting in trouble. You know what I mean? But just, like, a step closer to the danger zone. It seems like guys like to do things that are dangerous. You know what I mean? Fire, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you can relate. I was, <laughs> I was like, mm, interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. As girls play it safe a lot of times, you know? <laughs> yes. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. You the go. She told me, boy, you the go. Like I don't know. But I don't.